Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome to episode 54 of Europa Universalis 4. Uh, we didn't really get an awful lot done in the last video, we're still working on doing a little bit of colonisation, we're still trying to spread over in what will be the United States I suppose. We're also trying to get some um, vassalisation going on with Munster and hopefully Ulster which will give us even more uh, points where we can attack uh, Great Britain from later on. Uh, my current mission is I'm trying to uh, improve my relations with Brabant in the hope that I can go and uh, uh, annex them so that we're not over our diplomatic relations anymore. Uh, we have had a few of the truces end but it hasn't really caused a lot of problems because the truces that have ended mainly are with people we don't have an awful lot of aggressive expansion with. Still considering going after Nice at some point uh, if we just go ahead and have a look at the, um, not colonial regions, but there is a regions map mode somewhere. Trade goods. Can never remember where this map mode is. Uh, regions map mode. Oddly enough, Nice isn't actually part of the, um, the French region. It's actually part of, uh, well, whatever that region is here that it's not telling me. Is it just the Naples, Naples region? doesn't tell me the uh, the re oh, Italian region. So Nice is actually part of the Italian region, not the French region. Doesn't mean I wouldn't still like to uh, to grab it though. Just don't like Siena having that one random piece of land down here. And uh, they're never going to give it up without a fight. Of course I did look into it. Uh, what's this one? Oh, colonies become self-sustaining. Fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and... Um oh right, and this is actually still our land. So... That means then, and let's go ahead and just set up another one here. Uh, that means that this is actually a different colonial region. So let's have a look at colonial regions. Yep, this is a different colonial region. So this is actually colonial... Colonial Louisiana. And we would have to work our way inland a little bit, because if we move over here, we will be moving our way into colonial Mexico. So we will have to dig our way into Louisiana, but we're certainly going to give that a go. Let's, we'll keep expanding out where we can. There's another province up here we'll be able to grab. Then we might have to um, declare a couple of wars, but we'll certainly start uh, start doing that. And then we might work a little bit into Mexico and see what we can get. So at least we will have a couple of provinces over here that uh, we will actually own. That could be quite useful for us. Still keeping my eye on this rebel uprising because there is a bit of unrest still in Cambrai. It has gone down a little bit. Nate has been attacking us. That's fine. Um... We should be fine now then. We have quite a bit of admin um, points. How far are we on admin tech? Right, we are behind time. So really I should be saving up and purchasing the next admin tech, which would make the most sense. Because I'm just trying to think, do I want to increase stability at this point? Or is that a waste? 135 stability. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Because that will help to get rid of a lot of the unrest. And it will give us more money as well. So it will help overall. Um, this unrest should go down. Again, it won't go down by a huge amount. Because the positive stability only gives us an extra, like, minus one to the national unrest. Uh, but it should still slow them down. If they pop up, of course, we'll just crush them. Because we've got a massive stack of units there. Uh, we can have the uh, natives losing some size, but it decreases our settler chance. Or we can lose 40 ducats for some increased settler chance. Well, yeah, that's worth 40 ducats easily. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we have finished improving relations with Munster. We can't do that anymore. Let us recall the diplomat. What we are going to do, though, is... Um, We've got a royal marriage, we've got an alliance, we've got maxed improved relations. Now, we're also allied to their rival, which doesn't help, but that co that is counteracted by being the same religion. So, if we go in and um, send them a gift, and we only need to... Well, look at that, if I send them 25, well, uh, it, it um, increases it by 23, whereas 50 would increase it by 25. So, what I'm going to do is just send the 23... Uh, that's, that's actually enough. I, I'd miscounted. I only needed 15. I didn't need 25. Uh, so that's fantastic. So what we can now do as soon as we get, um, as soon as we can send somebody out again on the 9th of September, we're going to offer them vassalization. 
which will be fantastic. Offer them vassalization. Uh, they have accepted. And of course, we want to try and do the same thing to uh, Tyrone as well. Are we working to improve relations here? We are not. Uh, we have a royal marriage. We have an alliance. We have the same religion. And we're not allied to rivals, so that will go up even quicker. Uh, a military leader has died. It's one of our generals. I'm not going to hire one at the moment because I'm not at war. And it's a little bit stupid hiring a general because it costs you 50 points and he might die before he ever sees battle. So you do have to be careful there. Um, what about Brabant? So if we added 25, that would give us 187. We'd only be three away. Um, but yeah, we, because we annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire, the aggressive expansion, the unlawful territory, the ignorant monarch, it all becomes a bit of a problem. But when it gets to 165... We should be able to go and start the integration process. Now then, what is our diplomatic um, reputation? It's currently in the positives, so we would be able to uh, to do that. Luckily, we are getting some uh, improved relations quite nicely, so that will help. It does also help that we took the uh, idea group of diplomatic ideas. Um, the next one would actually give us plus one diplomatic relation, which is not a bad idea. Um, because the question is, do we want to get the next diplomatic tech straight the way? Um, what would it actually give us? Probably not an awful lot. Um, give us the naval base and the customs house. Reduce naval attrition is not till 22. Yeah, there's nothing particularly useful that we want. What will it be? It'll be level 18. Nothing at 18 there. Nothing at 18 there. Nothing at 18. So, we could leave that one for a little while and just get the, um, get the idea, which is probably uh, going to be the best thing to do. Uh, we're up to 172 now with Brabant, so that should be enough to go and... Um, where are we? Dynastic actions? Why can't I see it? Brabant. Integrate. Oh, we need 190 relations. Of course, I need to give them the money first. Of course I do. Uh, so, have some money. Wow, we're going to have to give them a lot of money to get there. Alright, let's give them the full 25. Didn't need to because it puts us up to 197. It's more than we needed, but... Uh, we can go ahead and uh, recall that diplomat. We don't need you there anymore. And then we will start to integrate as soon... Oh, we need to unpause the game, of course. That helps. Uh, 25th of February. So we'll wait until the 25th of February, and then we'll try and integrate them. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start uh, converting Sierra Leone. Uh, it's the 16th, the 18th, the 19th, the 20th. We're getting there. Let's go ahead and integrate... So that can start off. So we can either get plus 2.5% military technology cost increase or we can lose the stability. I'm going to take the military um, tech increase. It's not for all that long. And it's only 2.5%. And we're making... Uh, what are we currently making? Monthly increase plus 9. So we're doing quite well compared to our others. Do we have a focus at the moment? Because we do seem to be getting an awful lot of, uh, lot of military... Uh, no, we're not even uh, not even focused on anything in particular right now. I could go straight into admin focus and try and increase admin tech. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Uh, we can invest in a new idea. That is going to be our... Um... Ah, now. Yeah, I thought it was going to be our diplo idea, but it's not. It's our military idea. So, we could either get plus 10% combat ability... And plus five discipline. I'm going to take that. And the reason I'm going to take that is we've just had an increased military tech cost. So we'll spend the money on the idea now. And then we'll wait for the tech to come back down again in uh, in cost. So that should help us out. That should make us fairly decent now in terms of uh, our military. Our tradition has uh, slipped a little bit. But overall, I think we're actually... Uh, we've got 110% discipline. 2.2 uh, tactics. Which is uh, which is quite nice. Don't have a massive base, but uh, yeah, we certainly still need to keep up our, uh, with the tech. You don't want to end up falling behind with tech, but um, I see England are just keep it. Well, Great Britain are just keeping a massive number of troops down there in London. What's your military tech? Yeah, you're up to eighteen already. Um, gain a hundred of each of the three powers. 
and gain a three skill statesman. Nice. Very nice. Just like extra stuff for free. So that means we can go ahead and get um, cabinet. This is great now because we're no longer over our diplomatic relations. The next one we get will um, reduce the cost of reducing war exhaustion. And then we get better improved relations and better diplo rep and all sorts of nice stuff uh, in there. I'm just wondering if I should actually change my focus at the moment and go more towards admin. Because we are getting quite a lot in um, diplo and military. Um, and we only have one admin skill, our king, which is a bit, bit poor. Um, our air is a little more well-rounded. How old are we? 43. I'm going to actually flip, uh, switch to admin focus, which is now 868, which is a little bit more well-rounded and means we'll get to uh, level up in our admin tech all that more quickly. 5.3% of the way through um, integrating Brabant, so that is going to be really, really nice. And um, do we want to go after Nice is the question. Because they really don't like me. I mean, obviously, we would be fighting against Milan and Ferra and Austria. And Bohemia, of course, would uh, would come in um, because they are part of the um, HRE. Commonwealth would come in on my behalf. So, Bohemia, Austria and Milan. Well, first of all, let's have a little look at the Commonwealth. Now, are they under sea or are they under the? No, they're under sea. The Commonwealth have 85k, which is not great. Austria have 33k, which is pretty pathetic. They've still got no manpower. Um, Bohemia have 18k and little to no manpower. Milan has... Uh, oh, Corsica's got, like, Jebel. Don't care about them. Um, Milan was the other, I believe. Milan, Milan, Milan. Where are we? Oh, I'm looking at MA, MI, Mill. What am I missing? It is Milan, wasn't it, that would get involved? Double check that. Yep, it is definitely Milan. Milan has 28k and no manpower. So I think this could be. I hate to use the word a safe war, but I think it'll be a relatively straightforward war to get involved with. What I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to move some troops down here um, in towards the mountains and such. And we'll put some... Um, we'll, we'll put a leader on there as well. Uh, I've got these heavies, of course, that I've kind of forgotten about that I need to go and um, sort of put together. Now, Milan, of course, does have a navy. So does Corsica and uh, so on and so forth. So what I'm tempted to do is... Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is unmothball the mothballed fleet. Lose 50 diplo power or lose 10 prestige. Got... Well, Diplo power is not all that important at the moment. Although we will need some of that to uh, to end the war. Uh, but I'm going to unmothball the fleet. And I'm going to send the fleet of heavies and the transports down to uh, this area here. Because then we can sort of block off Corsica. And we can sort of stop some of the reinforcements. Uh, we will have um, 40 heavies. So that should be enough. Uh, I'm one ship missing. I'm, I'm missing a heavy. Did I forget to build one? Well, let's quickly go ahead and build another. Where I was, I was sure I had another one on, on the build somewhere. Uh, what's the quickest that I could build one? Um, 270 days, 270... 262 days. Well, I might as well just build one over here then. So we'll build that last ship and we'll send all of the heavies down into this area. Okay, so the air falls ill. So, we can either spend 366 ducats, which we can afford, and we'll get a 50-50 chance that we'll either gain 5 legitimacy or the air will... The, either the air will gain... No, we will gain 5 legitimacy or the air will die. Or we can have a 75% chance that he will die, but a 25% chance that we'll gain 30 legitimacy. Well, we don't really want our air to die. Let's spend the money. Uh, no, it sounds like he did die. Yeah, he has died. 
But we've got a new air. The new air's not all that great. Cost us a little bit of money, but that's not the uh, the end of everything. Going to keep these guys there. Um, we will pay the ducats, of course, to try and get that to uh, to improve. Obviously, I don't have as many men on the mainland because I've got these guys over here who are just sort of babysitting um, Kent. It's a shame that this uh, problem with uh, Cambrai doesn't go away. There's still a bit of unrest there, which is why I don't want to really move my troops from it. I will if I need to, because we're not going to have an awful lot over here to deal with the HRE. Um, when is that likely to pop? It is still going down, which is very nice. Um, 6.4 years. Catholic zealots, which I'm not all that bothered about. We don't want it to become a free nation. We could harsh treatment them, which would reduce their progress. Tempted to just leave it. Of course, we could just go into the province and just increase the, um, the autonomy. Which is not ideal, but at least it means I don't have to worry about the unrest there anymore. So I'm going to move the rest of my troops down so we can deal with the potential issue. We've got that ship already, so let's group them all up. They are still repairing. We'll wait till they're all full. And uh, the fact that we will actually have some transports will be useful because it means we can move troops down on to Corsican land should we need to. So that's going to be uh, be useful to do. I'll say I'll keep most of these men in the mountains where possible and uh, let them attack us, basically. Uh, Got to keep my eye on it because the Commonwealth look like they're actually already in a war with Austria right now. So I'm not sure when that started. If I declare war now, Commonwealth will... will words. Commonwealth still say that they will uh, come in, even though they are technically in debt. Um, but if they're already fighting with Austria... Um, yeah, they are actually fighting... Oh, defending against Bohemia. So Austria is actually fighting against Bohemia, who is the HRE. Okay, this could be very uh, interesting. This could be a very interesting war. Uh, I really don't want to do it, though, until I've got that fleet ready to move down there. So we'll we'll wait for that. Also means that our trade fleet will have a little bit of protection as well. Uh, Sierra Leone, don't really care about at all. Um, Great Britain truce, don't think I need to worry too much about that. So, I think all in all, uh, there's a very good chance the war might go our way. Would be nice if I could have had that extra military tech before we went in, because these guys are military tech 18, these guys are military tech 18, Austria's still only at 17, um, Bohemia, who is located, um, I don't know, somewhere around. You really should know what my uh, geographical knowledge is by now. Uh, as, as in it's terrible. Uh, is that Bohemia? Bohemia, yeah. Bohemia is 18 as well. Uh, what's the Commonwealth at? Commonwealth's only at 15. Wow, the Commonwealth are actually pretty behind as far as um, tech goes. I think the only reason they have any chance of doing anything is because of their size. I'm surprised they haven't been wiped out if they're that far behind. Um, military access from Cologne, that's fine. There was something that I just thought of a second ago and I thought, oh, I really must check that. That was it. Uh, how many rivals do we have? Because we have a free space for rivals. Apparently we, we can rival... Portugal is our only option for another rival. Really? I mean, Portugal's not exactly big. What relationship do I have with uh, Portugal, if any? Um, we have an alliance. So I don't really want to rival my ally. I, 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 it's not like I have too few rivals. It's perfectly acceptable to only have two out of three. See, Austria's got a few units around here. I don't think they're going to be the biggest part of my problem. Should be able to jump on them quite quickly. They're only in the woods. I mean, it's, it's not, not brilliant. Um, we're still building those manufacturers, yet they'll take a while. Still making relatively decent bank. And bear in mind, that's money being made with those heavies out of mothballs as well. So that is actually quite good. Um, we'll keep some money coming in. Actually, what I've just realised is that I'd slowed the game right down to start the war and then didn't start the war. Um, trade efficiency plus 10% or gain an immediate um, 460 ducats. Uh, how long would this last for? 10 years. 10 years of plus 10% trade efficiency. It's probably hmm I'm going to take the ducats normally I wouldn't normally I'd take the trade efficiency but when I go to war I may end up having to recall some of my trade fleets which means that I won't be doing as much trade and therefore the trade efficiency is going to be not all that useful 
Um, natives are rising up. That is fine. So we're literally just waiting for these uh, these ships to get repaired, and then we're going to move them down and uh, declare war on Siena so that we can try and take Nice. Not sure if I want to take a bite out of Milan. Uh, it might be nice if we could take uh, Liguria. We'd have a little bit more coastal there, and we could start working our way down towards Naples. Uh, we've done another conversion. Let's go ahead and um, start the next one. We're getting through them. It's a tolerance of uh, heretics. Tolerance of heathens. Religious unity is only 86%. It's a struggle. Don't really want to waste anything on religious ideas. Now then, Navarra. Uh, Navarra, we're doing quite well on um, relations. Probably won't be able to integrate them because by the time Brabant's been folded in, we'll probably have some negativity to our diplomatic relations, so that's fine. But we will find a way around that. How are we going with the ships? The ships are repaired, so it's almost time to go to war. But I think that is going to be something for another video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. And I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.